Hey, what is up, guys? Kurt Scheffler, 99 here. Today, we're going to try to put together um, Blake Voigt's uh, trick on the Judge Cuts episode. Don't forget about the Kurt Scheffler 99 contest. All you have to do is like this video, comment, and want to win, and be subscribed. We're giving away a Sans Mind Sharpie, a Card Magic Kit, an Invisible Deck, and a Red Dragon Deck. Again, all you have to do is like this video, comment, and want to win, and be subscribed. Uh, we do have monthly contest on this channel so if you want to stay tuned for those just make sure you're subscribed uh in august we plan on giving away an apple tv as well as a bunch of other cool gimmicks so uh let's get into the video now first of all let me just give you guys a quick disclaimer this trick that he performed is kind of a variation of his regeneration trick if you don't know what regeneration is it's a sold effect by theory 11 um and Blake Voigt, and it's basically just a gimmick, but it's used for a deck of cards. So this is just a slight variation on it, but it is the same exact trick. Um, but because it is a sold effect, we can't get into too much detail, and we can't completely say this is how it's done. We don't actually have his specific gimmick. We didn't buy it ourselves, but we're going to show you an idea of what he might have done. Uh, but again, we can't actually go buy the gimmick and show you guys because... We can get sued, so we're gonna we're just gonna show you guys some possible explanations. Again, there's no proof that this is right or wrong, but let's just get into some ideas. So, the first idea is that he switched the bills for a gimmick bill. Okay, um, now keep in mind that according to Theory Eleven, according to Blake Voigt on their forums page. All the gimmicks that you buy for, like, it's $50 regeneration by Blake Voigt. All those gimmicks are handcrafted by Blake himself or some people that he trusts. So, anyone can make the gimmick at home, okay? But it's just a matter of do we actually know how to do it. So, a possible explanation is that he switched the bills for a gimmick bill. Like, for example, this. Um, now, if we think about, realistically, there's no chance that he took a borrowed bill tore the corner off, and managed to get the other bill on. That's not possible. So let's let's talk about this. So here's a $1 bill. This might have been what he used as a gimmick. Now, on the back, we have a flap. This is going to be a flap of a $100 bill. All right? And what it does is it can fold back. Sorry, I just literally taped it. But you can literally just fold this back, just like that. It's just a flap. And... For the trick, what he would have to do is switch the bills and use this. <clears throat> Excuse me. And what he did was possibly he folded this back. And when he went to tear and went to fold, he would tear this off. And this flap would just be right there. Okay. And all he had to do was literally put this in his mouth and fold the flap back into place. Um, now, I'm not saying he taped it, but he, he would have to use something. If you think about it. Because he gave it out to the judges and they could pull on the bill and it was there. It was quite evident that the bill he gave them to examine was a gimmick bill. Um, there's literally no chance that he had that glued on during the trick. Um, so that's just one possible explanation. He had this here, went there. And it, it is also an explanation as to why his kind of his tear was completely perfect. We understand he did fold the bill, so that might be why, but... If you have this uh, this little bill here, it does give you kind of um, a guideline as to where to tear, in a sense. So when he's folding it and he tears it, it'll kind of form a straight line. So that's one possible explanation. Another explanation is that he had a gimmick bill, all right? And let's say this corner right here, not the flap. So let's say the flap wasn't here. This is the second method, I guess you could say. So let's say this corner right here was 100 so he had it like printed as a gimmick bill. So it was basically $1 with the corner of 100 and he had it folded back, all right? Then he could take, he could take um, the flap here of a $1 bill and pretend that that was part of it, right? Now, he could have put rubber cement before the trick. If you don't know what rubber cement is... It'll stick on slightly, but it'll be easy to it'll be easy to come off. And you would notice that when he was tearing the piece off, he only had a little bit on left when he had the judge tear it off. It was just a little bit, and it came off so easily, right? The fact that the piece came off that easily kind of means it could have been 
a flap with rubber cement that he just stuck there during the trick. And then he literally, once it came off, he just put this in his mouth. Remember, this would be the flap of a $1 bill, not a $100 bill. And he would put it in his mouth. He would get rid of it. And then again, all he has to do is bring back this, um, just this corner. So those are just some explanations, guys. There's no proof. Again, there's literally no proof. We can't give you, we can't go out by the gimmick and show you guys because we can't do that. We can't, we don't have the gimmick. So this is a possible explanation. Um, again, there is no proof. So we could be completely wrong. We could be completely right, but, um, there is no proof that this is wrong or right. So, uh, let us know if you guys agree with us or disagree with us. Now, these, again, are just possible explanations. Um, think about it. He did not, he cannot tear that bill and put a different corner on. It's not possible. And give it out for them to examine. Now, you know, what he did give out, what we do know is what he did give out uh, to uh, the judges is a gimmick bill. Uh, because the corner was completely connected. It was completely part of the bill, but... That's uh, that's just our explanation, guys. So let us know what you think in the comments. If you disagree, then, you know, so, oh well. But uh, <laughs> just let us know what you guys think. Uh, that's really it. This is Card Shuffler 99 Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much.